Hey, this is Sasha, and thanks for joining me here for another episode on Hungry for Returns, where I answer your trading and investing questions. If you have a question, feel free to reach out on our website at tradersfly.com, and I will answer your question in more detail, probably by video, just because it's faster and it's in more detail, and I can then post it for everybody else, and then I can reference the video. In either case, let's get started. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about strike prices. So if you're brand new, and you don't understand what a strike price is when it comes to option trading, it's a great video for beginners. Now, if you're more advanced, feel free to skip this video, go to the other videos that we have that are more intermediate and more advanced. Uh, but if you're brand new, great starting point for learning and understanding what strike prices are. So let's get started and let's check it out. All right, so when you look at an option and we're just going to say, hey, let's check out Netflix. So here is our ticker symbol. There's probably a lot of different um, strikes that you've seen, okay? Now on one side, let's call it this side, this will be the call side, this will be the put side. So now the question comes down to, oh, well, which strike price do I choose? Uh, because you have calls and you have puts and you've got to figure out a strike price. Well, each call has a different price. So one might have uh, $2.60, this one $2.75. You know, they're at different points. This could be a $3.45, uh, $5.75, whatever the case is. Anyway, depending on where this uh, stock is trading. So what you need to do and look at is, okay, well, first off, are you interested in a call and a put or a put? Second thing is, are you thinking about buying the call or uh, selling the call or are you looking at buying the put or selling the put remember there's, there's four different trades that you could do you could buy or you could sell or you could buy this one or sell this one okay because you can do a handful of variations so when you're looking at a strike price you're basically looking at uh, these four options that you could do around that strike price if you look at buying or selling a house so if we're looking at uh, house prices okay well I'm looking at a house for 235 okay well 235 what as a seller or as a buyer because if you're a buyer of uh, a house you might want to go ahead and try to get it for 230 if you're a seller of a house well, you're probably trying to get it for 245,000 or whatever the case is. Um, you know, so that's really what you're looking at is that, hey, well, are you on the buy side or the sell side? And in this case, we're dealing with two different houses in a way. Well, you're dealing with house call or house put. And that's really what it comes down to. So if you want to go ahead and trade around these numbers, well, here's how we kind of do it. So let's take a look on screen. Here's what we got. If I want to, let's pull up our Netflix example and we're looking at Netflix. Well, if I'm interested in this one and I wanna go out a certain amount of time, because remember, just like with strike prices, you also have days um, right here. So here's the number of days. What you wanna do is now take a look at, okay, let's say we go out 65 days. Contracts are valid for 65 days. If that's the duration I choose, well, do I wanna be a buyer or a seller? If I wanna be a buyer, well, where do I find value in the calls? How do I think, well, right now the price is trading at 290. Well, do I think it'll reach 300? Yeah, it's a higher probability, but it's more expensive. Well, let's see what it's gonna cost me. Let's say I'm buying this single. I analyze the trade. Well, this one, that trade, is gonna cost me $1,570, right? Time Multiply the 15.70 times 100. So it's gonna cost me uh, $1,570 because the chance of it hitting the 300 is very high, right? In this scenario and in this situation on the call side. Now, if I go to the 345, it'll cost me less because the probability is less. But now that stock has to move. So I could take a chance on this stock on the call side and say, hey, okay, well, now my strike is way out there at 345. So it's way further out, but I pay a lot less. I only pay $350. Okay, so $350 is what I'm paying, but it's got to move a lot more. So that's kind of the difference is that, hey, well, if I get one that's really, really close, my chance of landing that deal or that house is more likely. If I go really, really far out and say, hey, well, I'd like to go ahead and purchase your house if there is gold under your yard, um, well, you know, the probability and chance is kind of slim. So if you're going to do some testing and you give them a contract based on that, well, it might only be like, hey, 
I'll, I'll take $500 for that. But if there's a high chance because there's gold that's been discovered all over other properties in the neighborhood, well, hey, buddy, you better pay me like $15,000 because the chance of you discovering gold on my property as well underneath the house is very, very high because there's been other gold discoveries in the neighborhood. So ultimately, that's really what you're doing when you're looking at strike prices is you're looking at the probability and it goes the same thing with being a buyer or a seller and hey if i go ahead and sell one uh, of the calls it's the same thing well are you going to be able to sell it for more money or sell it for less money well if you sell it for less money well the chance of you as a seller if things working out in your favor are really really good well you got a much wider range on the call side right uh, if the chance of you, hey, well, this is kind of tight on the price because the strike price is tight. The price is 290 and I have to have it um, stay lower than the 300. Well, it, it's pretty close. So I might make more money, but the chance of it working out in my favor is kind of slimmer. So that's what strike prices really allow you to do is it allows you to budget the risk based on how far or wide you want to get. If you're trying to do the put side, uh, it works in the same way, except now you have, you're have you working with a little bit of a different type of co contract, right? Because it gives you the ability here for downside movements. So if you're looking at a put, well, in this case, well, uh, this one's already in the money, but let's say we're going to a 280 put versus a 240 put. So here we'll go a 280, and this is a 240. Forty. So 280 is going to cost me about fourteen hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. So if it gets down to two hundred and eighty dollars uh, per share, right now it's at two ninety. It's only ten points away. So that's why it's more expensive. If it goes uh, to two forty, well, it's really really far away from that still. And in that case, well, it only costs you uh, four hundred and ten dollars because. You know, because the chance of it working out is less, so you pay less for that, but, you know, hey, it could still work out. So ultimately, that's what the strike price allows you to do, is it allows you to kind of work and think about, hey, where do I want to play this trade? And on the sell side, very similar. Hey, what are the probabilities, if you want to look at that? Well, if I'm very close, well, you make more money, because you, you kind of make about $1,300 uh, if it's very close, 10 points away. And uh, if you're really far away, well, you make less. You only make about $390, but chance of it working out is very high or much higher than the other way. So that's what the strike price really you're looking at is, hey, what are, where do I want to budget or play with this? You know, uh, if a house is trying to be sold at $500,000 and you try to buy it for $410,000, chances are it's not going to work out. But hey, you can still throw in a bid and see what happens. Um, and that's really what you're doing here with these uh, strike prices and um, trying to trying to play the field uh, based on the trading that's going on and that's happening. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me in this week's video. If you have a specific trading or investing question, feel free to reach out on my website at tradersfly.com or subscribe on YouTube. And hey, just enjoy the week ahead. Thanks for joining me. And remember, do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.